Well, if you've been wanting to get in shape but don't know where to start, uh, there is a craziness out there called CrossFit. And I have to admit, I didn't know anything about it until last July. And our director here, Parker Haybear, got me in the door at Refine in Conway. And it's been a blast so far. Sarah Langley and, um, my um, goodness, Amber <laughs> Allison yes. joining me today from Refine. <laughs> Tell me a little bit about CrossFit before we start a workout. Yeah. So CrossFit is constantly varied functional movements performed at high intensity. So we do a lot of gymnastics type movements, weightlifting involved, and also cardio. So mm -hmm. it kind of typically is a little bit of a combination of all of those three things. Yeah. The, um, I think what is a few things you think that scares people off? That's just not true. Yeah. So I think a lot of times people see the movements on TV and mm -hmm. those are like per comparing us to an NFL football player. Yeah. Like they're the elite. And so they're just, so they look at that a lot of times and it's a misconception of what's actually going on in the class. I will say at our gym, there are varying fitness levels. People who've just started, people who've been doing it a long time, and you can scale all these workouts, right? Yeah, that's exactly right. So we're going to start a workout. Tell me what you have for me today. Okay. Do you want to tell? Yeah, sure. Okay. So we have a 12-minute AMRAP, which AMRAP stands for as many reps or rounds as possible. Typically in our class at the gym, we have some sort of scaled version mm -hmm. and some sort of RX or prescribed version, which is the hardest version of the workout. Uh, but today we are doing 5, 10, 15 rep scheme. So you are going to do five burpees over the kettlebell. Okay. Do you want to demo? Oh, yes. Yes, Sarah, yes. demo I'll that while we're talking Okay, about a burpee it. over the kettlebell. I'm going to scoot this kettlebell over. Okay, a burpee. So she's, yep, she's going to do five burpees over the kettlebell. So she's going to go down to the ground, chest and thighs at the ground. Okay. Then she's going to jump or step over. So scaled version, if you Keep aren't going. comfortable jumping or any kind of ankle injury, then you can step over. It's a little bit more safe. Um, uh -huh. Or if you're just starting CrossFit, that's a great way to start. Uh, then we are going to do 10 goblet squats. So goblet squats with the kettlebell. Okay. She's going to bring that bell up. There's plenty of ways to hold it, but this is the way that we teach. And then she is going to go hip crease below parallel and then all the way back up. So of course there are plenty of ways you can modify this, modifying the weight of the kettlebell, mm -hmm. just doing air squats. Our RX version is a little bit of a heavier kettlebell, so 53 pounds for the guys, 35 pounds for the ladies. Mm -hmm. And of course, we wrote 26 on there for scaled because that is just a lower weight, a little bit easier, or like I said, to do air squats instead of weighted squats. Then yeah. we're going to do 15 kettlebell swings, so she's going to grab that kettlebell, okay. swing it through her hips, and then straight overhead so she can go... Um, a little bit of a modified version, I guess, of that is halfway up, so she can kind of do more of a power swing. And that is good for anyone who has maybe a shoulder injury going yeah. on, but still wants to stay active. So the goal is to do something. Yeah. Yes. And you don't have to, if, you, if your fitness level is not the RX version, it's, got, it's to do something. And I've seen people scale to where they do some type of movement, where right. it may not be hard for us, but it's hard for them, and uh, it's really important. So... We're about to do something I haven't done in about four years, which is a workout on live TV. So y'all are going to coach me through it. Is one of you doing it with me? Um, yeah, Sarah? sure. Yeah, All right. okay. So not doing this alone. I will say these classes, highly encouraging to yes. finish whatever workout that you have prescribed for you on that day. Yeah, cool. and I just want to say something really quick too. A lot of times people are really worried about coming because they're afraid we're going to be watching them and yeah. judging them, and we're not. We're all doing our own workout together, cheering each other on, but we are not looking at what you're doing. We're and just focused on you getting a good workout. From someone who knew nothing going in and couldn't do the movements and had no idea what he was doing, I can say that's exactly yeah, right. You, good. You figure it out too. Yeah. All right. So we're starting with uh, the burpees over the kettlebell, and I'm going to let you count us down. Um, <laughs> I'll, I'll, you, I'll, I'll, do you want this kettlebell? Yeah, or I'll this? use the heavier Okay, ones. perfect. <laughs> perfect. Okay. okay. Now, there's not much room. <laughs> so, so we can just burpee, and we don't have to go over yeah, the kettlebell. that sounds good. Since we're modifying according <laughs> yes. to what we've got here. Okay, perfect. All right, Amber, space. you want to be the clock? All right, yes, I'll come over here. All right, we are counting down in three, two, one, go. All right. Now, the goal for me is to be talking while uh -huh. I do this. Uh -huh. Five years ago when I could do these 
on TV. <laughs> so we can move this out of the way. When you get chest and thighs on the ground, yes, so the reps to count and all the way up. Yes, I think that y'all are at three or four. I don't know. I think this is four. Okay, you got one more. Five years ago, I could not, I could barely talk through these okay, workouts on fine. TV. Okay, the next one. That's okay. That's okay. Wonderful now we're on to the goblet squats. Okay. All to the goblet squats. Like I said, there's plenty of ways, so Jane's okay. holding it with the, which either way. Either there way works. And we're going to go we down, go. yep, and all the way back up. So I've done three. I don't know how many you've done. <laughs> I think I'm one behind you. <laughs> okay. We want to make sure that our Five. hips are coming fully extended, squeezing the glutes at the top. Seven. And then me as a coach, I am always looking for proper movement patterns. So we want Nine. everyone to be safe. So if someone Ten. is really leaning forward or just not doing well, then I suggest a modifying the range of motion and or the weight. Yes. Now we got and a And the last thing things. was... 15 kettlebell, kettlebell swings. All right. Yes. Okay, here we go. So watch out for that big monitor behind you. <laughs> I will, don't worry. <laughs> yes, great. You now, are doing a wonderful job going all the way overhead. Tell me what a kettlebell swing works out. So we are working on the glutes, squeezing at the top. You are working on your hamstrings. You have a nice hamstring stretch and contraction um, from the bottom all the way up to the top. And then you also have a little bit of quads with that small squat at the 12. bottom. Then you're also working your shoulders, bringing that weight all the way overhead. Just all around great movement. All right. So and core. Yes. I feel my core too. It's a great workout. Yeah. One this morning was a lot lengthier. <laughs> Tell me where your gym is, how to get signed up, and is there a free trial? Yeah, so we are located um, in Conway, and we do do a week for free because we want to make sure that you get your full experience, that you are in the community, you see what it's like, so you get a week for free. Um, our website, I'm going to let you yes, yes. talk now. Okay. <laughs> uh, you can also find us on Instagram at Ryan CrossFit, and uh, we are located at 170 Exchange Avenue yes. in Conway. Yeah. Thank you all for coming in. Yeah. This has been a blast. Uh, you know, I just happened to get into your gym last July. I've really enjoyed it. I, enjoyed it? <laughs> I need some water. Uh, so. James has done an amazing job. Yes, an amazing job. You know, and it's, yeah. it's really about getting fit. Yeah. Being in a good physical shape, there's nothing better. Yeah, I so. mean, it's for, for your lifestyle, so for your life. So. Yes. All right, Beth.